Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam, here with The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker HD, and we've just earned ourselves some bombs. Theoretically, I mean, that's the guy's line. Nope, they're bombs. I got bombs, I can carry up to 30. Pull one out, press the A button to throw it, or the Zer button to set it at my feet. Try it out, it's a blast. Using bombs while on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off seagoing enemies. Ah, interesting. Uh, set them and use them with your buttons. You know, I've noticed that, um, you know, because I have that stone still, and I've noticed that Mr. Red Lions has been used, you know, can use it to talk to me and such. But I've wondered, like, is there any reason why, I don't know why he can do that. But is there any reason why Tetra couldn't also? And clearly, she still can. It's mighty courageous to you try to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look of your, on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give this much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyways? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway you can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning, and believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. So. I like to roll! Let me roll upstairs! <laughs> Sounds like we have to go tonight. Whereas I would rather make it morning and try and do like, like we gotta go get a, a picture box from, uh, from in town. But it does not look like that's gonna be the case. More mail? One letter. Uh, notice from Beetle's shop ship. It's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle shop ship chart. Visit a Beetle shop ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity, Beetle. Beetle's chart. Now I know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Open the chart on the map screen to view it. Okay. okay. I noticed one of them has a helmet. It seems probably different than the others. Yep. Anyways, uh, well, I guess... Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. 
Okay. Well, obviously southwest for a bit, I guess. And I do have 30 bombs, so I'm gonna... less fun going out sailing in the dark and the rain. Doesn't have the same whimsy. Oh, up in the top left there's a cannon icon now too. Let's just hope I don't have to... Although it does make me wonder, like, does something literally, like, mess up if I take too long out on the open sea where time moves? I mean, it's possible. It is easier to just run from the thing. I was like, can I just kill him? I got bombs. No. Also, for being a shark attack and being a very small ship, he does not do very much damage. Music can't decide. Should I be happy or scared? Jumped over the shark! I'm practically Fonzie! <laughs> like, I wonder if it'll let me do that. Yes. Yes, it will. So, um, I think at some point I get a sail upgrade, and it lets me sail around quicker. And my first thought when I knew that about the HD version of the game was, what's the point? Like, this, the sailing is a lot of fun. And as, as a kid, I recall it being a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun with just exploring the, uh, exploring the open ocean. Like, it was, it was all cool. Um, but now, playing through the game as an adult. Um, less. It's it's less the fun part of things. Uh, I actually, okay, so I haven't, so I never did get the fish when I was at this island before, so since I'm passing it again, I should try and update my, uh, chart if I can. Find Mr. Fish. To um, an obstacle. So, yeah. Is there a fish jumping around somewhere? No? Okay. Well, I mean, if it's not convenient, I guess I just won't get the fish. Am I still headed the right direction? No, I need to be more just south now. Yeah, that's the right song. I was like, which song am I doing? This one. Well, maybe some other island will have a fish and I can bait them. Yeah, 
now. This whole sailing thing was a lot more fun for me when I was younger. I'm now looking forward to our fast sail upgrade. I also have no idea if it, the game really does penalize you if you take... No, that's, that's not actually what I meant to do. Although that is interesting that doing that will um, instantly stop your ship on a dime. But uh, this is what I meant to do. <laughs> Much easier way to make sure I get to <laughs> where he is. Hi, small fry. Islet of Steel. I guess because it's, it's not in real island, it's manufactured. Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of Triumph folks? Or, well, I mean, from one of you guys. Well, it's right there, my young fry. On that island, you know. A chart showing you where to find it. Of course, getting it is the hard part. And that's all the... Yeah, that's all you got. Oh, that's not a beetle ship. That's a that's a attack ship. <laughs> All right. Leave them in the dust. my Deku Leaf to create wind and make me go faster. Is that home? It is still gorgeous, just like as things in the background fade away and then the lightning strikes and you can see those silhouettes, it's still a very beautiful game and I'm loving this whole HD look to it. I mean, I don't think it, it really looked this good on the GameCube. I'm not positive, you know, because obviously that's viewed with nostalgia. <laughs> we, uh, ooh, multiple sharks. So we both jumped there, and, um, I got hurt. But I find it funny that I also pushed the shark back. So, uh... Apparently they just hang out over there, because they, they left right away. Unlike the other one, it stayed around for quite a while. So I'm headed home. No real time to... I don't think the... The clock is actually moving. Like, I think it was still, like, it, it changed to the it can change from night to day look, but I think it was just staying night. So I don't think there was really any time issue. Like, I had all the time I needed to get here. It was going to stay nighttime. Which is interesting. Okay. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters, it is as if time itself is frozen. I even tried to change it with a song. Perhaps this is the curse that Baloo spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. So I probably was right. The, the clock wasn't moving. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Okay. Cool. There weren't 
monsters here when I left. Although maybe there were, it wasn't nighttime when I left, so. I feel like maybe I should pick that one up too, since I'm <laughs> it's like walking away, I'm like, hmm. I do have some Knight's Crests. Oh, Link. You are alright. Why did you not tell me about Ario? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey. But you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. I hope this isn't just like the beginning thing again. Like, I better be learning something new here, old man. <laughs> if I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me 100 times or more before I hit you th three times. Uneven here that, that I have to hit him a hundred times and he only has to hit me three. Come on, back to the center here. Oh, I pressed A. I just pressed B first. There we go. Enough. Forty blows, eh? Remember. Though you may grow in strength, others grow stronger as well. You may come here to practice as often as you like. I will always be happy to face off against you. Okay, but I did come in here for a reason. These are the ones you like. Apparently not. Okay. <laughs> it's like I got some Knight's Crest. You wanted to see those? No? Okay. Never mind. I'll just go home. Although I feel real bad to come home and say, I still haven't saved my sister. Driven her mad by leaving. Nothing up there, no. Now, I do have bombs. So, of course, one of the things I wanted to do would be to go bomb the big bomb bombable rock from the beginning. Also, I don't believe, even at the beginning of the game, I ever went in this house, did I? I mean, it's nighttime, maybe their door's locked, but... Nope! Eh? Link? Is that you, Link? Whoa. You kind of startled me there, buddy. I thought more of those monsters had come to harass me. I tell you, there have been a lot of strange things going on here at night lately. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it, and I love sleep. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this was back before the bridge was destroyed. 
It was up in the fairy woods near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which was odd enough, but then she vanished into that rock. Really, I saw it with my own eyes. Okay, so that's basically what I was talking about going and doing. Um, and apparently there's a setup for it. Cool. There's gonna be more monsters on my way up here. No? Actually, it wasn't the kind of monsters I was expecting. I was expecting more of the choo-choo, whatever things. Boy. Hey! It's that guy! Oh, so close. If only I could fly to the top of that hill. If only. Beneath that rock head, the tri- Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It is a secret, yes, quite a secret. Okay. And I'm actually glad I came up, I saw him and came up here, because now I remember that you don't want to start from where the bridge is, you want to start from here. And I do know... Also, there is, um, you see that, like, whirlpool back there? That doesn't seem good. Uh, this, this place seems more heavily guarded than before, if you notice. Awesome. Refilling my bombs even. How convenient. I know that music. Must be the person who saw. Young waker of the wind. Allow me to aid you in your quest. Thank you. You you have extra arms. That's creepy. You can now carry more rupees. You can hold up to 1,000 rupees. Sweet! The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness when you grow fatigued from your battles. Come here to be refreshed. Awesome! Able to carry more money. I know I didn't need it, but I mean, I just wanted to go. Grab some fairies. But yeah, so sweet. I mean, the, 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 the great fairies in this game are definitely, you know... Almost as creepy as the ones in, uh... Uh... Ocarina of Time. Yep. 
got past those guys. Got my wallet upgrade. Okay. I didn't know this was a thing, but I noticed it as I dropped onto the roof. I'm like, wait a minute. Nasty things have been happening here at night ever since you left on that boat. You'd better head home early today and don't come out to play until long after the sun has risen up tomorrow. That seems like a terrible idea. I'm so glad you're safe, Link. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised to hear you've returned just as soon as they wake up, that is. I hadn't been in their house either. But I did notice this. It looks like one of the pigs ate the other two. I was gonna head back to uh, Mr. Lion, but uh, I was like, I just saw up here, I'm like, hmm, I wonder. I'll just go back to Mr. Red Lions. I guess... Hmm, well, I do have mail. Good evening! One letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Did you need any... Uh, did you have any need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we only have one of each! If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rock Spire Island, first come, first served, and I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my hum humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rock ship, Spire Shop Ship. <laughs> And apparently the way things are set up, it has to include some treasure in every letter. So they have that. And I didn't go in here. Is it just... This guy was talkative. Oh, here. Is, is that you, Link? Well, it looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. Your grandmother has been having a terrible time of it since ever since you left. She rarely leaves the house, and as far as I can tell, she just spends her days sleeping. She hardly eats. I've actually come here to see if my old grandpa knows of any medicine or anything that might make her feel better. Ooh. Oh, Link, you've come back, and in one piece, too. Oh, gracious. My granddaughter tells me that your grandmother is in poor health these days. Now, I'm certain that a little fairy dust would provide all the lift her spirits need. 
But, well, the problem is I haven't seen any fairies in these parts recently. Of course, long ago you could find a lot of them up by the old fairy fountain, and you could even capture them in empty bottles. Sure, it was easy as you please. Yes, there was a time when I used to like playing with fairies. Uh, um, in any case, ever since the fountain was blocked up by that huge rock, I haven't seen a one. Okay, so are they basically saying I need to go release a fairy to heal my grandmother? We're basically at time, but I'm at least going to go give that a shot. I'm ever so worried about her. She seemed like she'd gone mad. For a second, I was so scared that it just it went for me, and I was like, come on, don't... Oh, Link, is that you? Grandma's always happy to see your bright, turning face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Aria are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I hadn't ever considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Okay, so they did that to make sure you have an empty bottle. You've got elixir soup, uh, this healthy soup. Your grandmother make, replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Uh, your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle uh, so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong more words that went by too fast. But don't do anything reckless, alright? And I better put something else there so I don't accidentally drink it when I don't want to. So, I mean, I, I prefer a fairy because it's it will heal me. I don't have to think to use it. But doubling how much damage I do is good. And I think that's probably what Mr. Red Lions wanted me to accomplish before he'd let me go around back. And um, I guess probably next time we'll be able to do that. Uh, so join us next time for more Wind Waker.